hopefully shalo shalo mer friends welcome to the live stream we have goose draft kit kat my dazzling days courtney cat bryson hello hello everybody it still says it's waiting for me i'm also live on tiktok right now no one's watching me on tiktok though and my computer is hollering as normal all right it says i'm outputting hello hello is anyone there refresh my live stream also if it dies halfway through i'm sorry my computer's been like really bad lately but we're here anyways and it is buffering Classic computer. Classic Fates Wi-Fi. There we go. All right. Mermaid Queen is here as well. And on TikTok, we got Merlady Jez and Mel and Celestial Cupcake. All right. So for today's Tale Tea Time, we are going to be unboxing none other than a monofin that I won from a giveaway. That's right. So if you remember, uh, Courtney Mermaid, who is in the chat right now, who said hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mermaid K. Um, we, she loves Finis, she loves Finis, she is an ambassador for them, I am not, but I've used some of their products before, I've had the Luna, I don't know where it went, I lost it, which was a real bummer, and I have the Finis Shooter, and I have the Finis Tempo, and I have the Finis Wave inside of my silicone, so I'm a really big fan of Finis products, and she was doing a joint giveaway with them, and I was like, oh sure, I'll enter, not really thinking much of it on Instagram, but then I won, so I'm super excited, I've won like two giveaways in the last week, it's like, super exciting. So, this is a new model fin I haven't tried yet. I haven't even seen this fin in person. I've only seen it really on Haley Mermaid's TikTok. And so I'm really excited to show you guys this new product. And the best part is that I probably couldn't really get it in Canada unless I ordered it online. And right now ordering things is not really much of a good idea right now because either you're going to get charged a lot of shipping for import or um yeah, things will just suck. So, we're going to open her up. Um, also, if the stream dies halfway through, I have my GoPro recording just in case. Emery Lady Jazz on TikTok says, that's so exciting. Thank you. So, we open it up. Do, 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 do. Congratulations. That must have been so exciting. I was super excited. Oh, and here it is. All right. Oh. Goodbye, box. We'll recycle that. Oh, Gigi Mercy. Hello. So here it is. Take it out of its plastic. All right. And so we got. Wow. Okay. This is pretty nice. So just to keep it safe, they have these cardboard inserts inside the foot pockets. Um. Everyone's saying hello. Hi guys. That's so pretty, right? I'm really excited. It seems really durable already. Also, I just got violently thrown back to my childhood. I'm so excited. I haven't seen an honest review for things in so long. Well, reviews are... Not sure if I'll do a... Oh, I'm not sure if I'll do a review on this. Uh, depends if it fits me. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a throwback to their original uh, mermaid fins. I think that they had the little scales on the bottom, too. Or no, the Luna. The Luna had these types of scales. Oh, I miss my Luna. Looks like the Luna and the Linden had a child. Yeah, kind of. It's gorgeous. I hope it fits me too. It does look a little teeny me, but we're gonna try it. And also, this like cardboard thing is super cute. I kind of want to do something with it. Oh no, 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 I have ruined it a little bit. Yes. Uh, so on the back, uh, swim like a real mermaid, bring your mermaid dreams to life by gliding through the water like a mermaid. And roll credits. Insert increased comfort and performance. Separate po foot pockets increase comfort and propel you forward. Oh, that's right, because the original mermaid fin was sort of one foot pocket, but not really. Um, wear as you draw adjustable strap and foam inserts to accommodate a range of sizes. So kind of like the mermaid linden fin as well. And then safest way to mermaid, quick release strap function and rubberized fin edges to support safe swimming. Yes. Um, beginner position, quick release strap, advanced position, secure strap. So they've got, you can do a loop-de-loop -loop or you can do two bumps kind of deal. Um, size chart, set up, uh, with foam insert junior 9 to 13, without foam <laughs> insert to junior th or 13 to 4. Uh, also, um, I have a I have a concern here. Um, it says safest way to mermaid, and it's 100% a silhouette of a mahina. A, a finis, you mind explaining yourself there? Okay, you really can't see it, but it's 100% a mahina, and I know mahina. 
You might, you might explain yourself there a little bit, Finise. <laughs> Although, this is probably safer for kids than the Mahina. I would probably recommend this over the Mahina, but, I mean, I haven't really tried it. And I don't have children. I'm not a mom. I'm not super qualified to say these things, but I am a swim teacher for children. Well, not right now, because all the puddles are closed. <laughs> all right. Let's get on to the meat of this thing. So, ooh, <laughs> First thing is that it's really glittery, and it's this nice kind of soft, plasticky thing, and it has these nice, ooh, I just like cut myself with the cardboard. <laughs> Ow. It's got these nice rubbery foot pockets. Thank you for the follow, Colton, on TikTok. And then this is a really nice rubber as well. <laughs> Can I have the box? Yeah, sure. Um, and then this is, this is very similar to the Mermaid Linden fan, actually, because it gets... Uh, <laughs> got the hook so this is like when you're learning you can do it like this which I get the feeling will probably just fall off but anyways and then when you don't want it like that you can just snap it back into place um, and then much like the Luna they have these rubbery things but oh my goodness these are so much harder to take on and off than the Linden there we go like it's very much secure obviously I if I am going to wear this I'm definitely going to do it on the widest strap. Oh no, it says it's buffering. Sorry guys. Alright. Yeah, this is like, there we go. Really tricky, but it, it seems like it's pretty nice sturdy materials all the way around. Uh, let's check the bendiness of it. Mm, okay, you can kind of bend it about the same amount front and back. Um, doing it back is a little bit harder because they've got these the foot pockets are made of plastic with a little bit of rubbery grip at the bottom. Also says Finise here, and Finise at the front, much like the Luna. I like these sort of embossed scales, and there's really, really nice ridges, so this will probably swim pretty well. Do 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 do. Line ridges, and <laughs> this is so cute. The drainage holes are little scales. Here, I'll show you. I'll show TikTok as well. Thank you for the follow, Ninja. I think is your name. And so this is pretty neat. And also the scale. Like, there's just scales everywhere. Finis has been innovating for years. There's some OGs creating fins for the, our community. Yeah, that's right. Do you think uh, that fin would fit a fin from Tailskin? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think I'll try some of those out today. But first, the moment of truth. Oh, right. Finis needs some Luna. Um, oh, yeah. There's also these inserts, which I definitely wouldn't use, but I might use for some different things. Eh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wow. These are so much different than I thought they'd be. They're like literally foam. So you put the foam in like this to accommodate for teeny weeny feet. So this is this is definitely made with kids in mind. If you are a child, these TikTok, I don't do shout outs. Please stop talking about that. Sorry, I'm also live on TikTok. Just giving it a try, but YouTube details are important. Follow me on YouTube. <laughs> uh, so you can put these foam inserts in like so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, and then the bot, this here also. I think these are little rubber grippy bits on the inside, which is neat. <laughs> Courtney says, I wish I had tiny feet to fit in it. Okay, all right, you guys want me to stop talking. We are going to try on the monofin. <laughs> so it won't fit my feet is what you're saying. Yeah, Bryson, I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to sit on my bed to do this because I feel like I may need to push against something to put it on. Oh, oh maybe not. Okay. Yes. Ha! I got it on. One foot anyways, and then the foot strap is like, okay, I'm definitely going to need to put it on not the advanced strap because the strap doesn't leave a lot of room. So let me just pop her out here. <laughs> there we go. The hook is pretty sturdy on there, which I like. So I'll put one and two. And there we go. Okay, that's it on my feeties. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little snug. Not much in width, but more in length. <laughs> like, I've got my whole heel is hanging out the edge of it. Um, but then, of course, it doesn't like, the strap is on, but not on all the way. So, sorry, TikTok. Kind of forgot about you there. Uh, haha, it's funny. <laughs> you won the giveaway and they gave you a child size. Well, this is the only size that they have of the Mermaid Dream Fin. So this is actually a, um, 
Target exclusive bin. You can't buy it on the Finis website as far as I've looked. So I'm really stoked that I won this because we don't have Target in Canada. We used to and it's, uh, it died. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to try and put the nubbies. Courtney Murray said I could get it onto the strap as hopeless was hopeless for my huge feet. Yeah, it's a... Uh, there we go. Okay. And it'll be coming to their site soon, but right now it is Target only. Okay. Right on, right on. Hey yeah. Listen to Courtney. She's an ambassador, y'all. Okay. I'm going to take off this hooky thing here. It looks like it looks like a little mini hanger. Hey, Mermaid Crystal Tide. All right. I'm going to just do a little bit of experimenting, but this is definitely a fin that I'll probably like set and forget. Um, like my Linden. Am I going to name it? Oh, probably. I just don't know what to name it yet. Okay. Man, these are really, really frustrating to put on. I don't know if it'd be easier if it was wet or not. There we go. Okay. Okay. We got that, the straps on. Yeah, the straps are like very secure, which I don't know if it is a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a good thing. You need to shimmy it, yes. Better than the cheap monofin in Target's dollar section. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, I think putting it on the second hole works for me. And then shimmy. Yeah! Okay, this feels secure. Also, peek at my shotgun because the mermaid's like, it's boingy boing. It's really bouncy. <laughs> Ta-da! All right. Pretty good, pretty good. It is very dainty. Like... Okay, and I can I can quick release it pretty easily too. I'll show you guys on the bed as well. Uh, so graceful, dignified. So, if you guys didn't know what quick release is, what you do is you push down with one of you kind of like almost like you're riding a bike where you're pushing and pulling with each of your legs at the same time. So I'm gonna push down with my left leg and pull with my right, and I've pulled out my right foot really easily. And then with my left, you should all be able to kind of give a little bit of pressure with my free leg, with my toes usually, and it pops right off. So, that's the quick release me method for monofins. Boing, 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 yes. Did they send you a skin with monofin? No, uh, there are no skins for this monofin yet. Uh, are there covers for this one, Courtney? Please. Please do things. I want to see it on in the water. Well, maybe. <laughs> I have size 7 feet. I kind of hope they make an adult version for everyone that wants this fin. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, like, adults would really, really want this fin. I mean, if I was an adult, I am an adult, but if I was looking for a model fin from Venice for mermaiding, I'd probably choose the Linden over this one. No covers yet. Okay, you could name it Shimmy. Yes, I really like all the sparkles on here. It's very pretty. Ah, that was a workout. All right, so should I should I try it in some tails, guys? I think yes. So I'm going to test it out in a fin fun. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Is a fin fun good as go? Just let me take one. This is my newest fin fun. <laughs> and it is pink, and it is pretty. Now... To be fair, I have the adult size fin funds. I don't know about the kid size, but it's definitely gonna fit inside. I mean, I'm able to fit a Luna inside of these ones when I had the kid Luna, so not really much of a concern. It's really nice and squishy, which is lovely. Now, the thing about putting like rubbery model fins inside fin funds is that sometimes the fabric <laughs> will get stuck, and I'm like, no, get in there, get all the way, and it's like, I don't want to. I want to just stick to the side of the fabric. So, it definitely fits. Um, it might look a little bit silly, but, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to find a good way to make it work, because if I fill out the foot, or the, uh, the fluke tips, then it kind of does this. So that means I have to put the wider foot pockets further up in the tail of annoying because that does stretch out the tail a little bit. Should name it Firework. We'll see. We'll see. Freckleberry Trouble. Haha. <laughs> yep, that's his tail. Alright, bye Digimare. Thanks for joining. Um, so, 
but I'm guessing you could probably fit like a lady's seven, maybe eight at the most in this bin. Depends how wide your feet are, though, because it's it's not the most narrow, but it's kind of narrow. Also, YouTube just kind of is buffering on my little live chat, and I don't know why. Because it says I'm still outputting. So that's silly. Let's see, what is it saying now? Still 29 people watching. Hello, YouTube. Okay, good. We are still here. Sorry about that, guys. I've been super nervous about my computer because it's like, <laughs> been crapping out on me when I'm trying to edit a video. Sorry about the delay in YouTube videos. I'm working on a really, really big one right now, and it's taken forever. All right. So that's what it looks like in a fin fun. Um, like I said, this is a bit of a smaller tail, but because it is yeet, a double wide foot pocket that's, that is moderately obnoxious because, like, most most model fins that go inside uh, simpler fabric tails like fin funds are uh, their foot pockets are closer together and they don't have these chunky things. But the good thing is that it's not quite as chunky as um, I, I think that the the Luna was maybe a little bit wider. Um, how do you design your silicone tail? Uh, you can either get an artist to do it or you can do it yourself. And if you work with your tail maker, they will tell you. Mermaid Amethea said, what do you want? And I said, this. So then she made it in her way, <laughs> essentially. So, yeah. What else did it look like? Some, like, you know, when, like, a mold is done and then there's, like, a little bit of things. <laughs> Wee! Bloink. It's very rubbery. I do like that. It's very fun. It kind of, like, dun, 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 sounds like a guitar. Anyways, those are my first impressions of this model fin. Um... Yeah, me okay, I'll try it in my Mertailer Eco Tail, and then we can continue on with regular old tail tea time. I still haven't gotten a chance to swim in this tail yet. Um, I don't have the monofin for it. Uh, I have It's for the Finnis Aquarius, which is one monofin I don't have, because I don't really like it all that much from the one time I've tried it. Maybe my mind will be changed, but um, I just, I mean, I had enough monofins, I didn't want to buy another one just for this one tail, uh, when I have, you know, many that'll fit, which is why I put my two tails model fin in it. But, this one is designed for a finis, uh, model fin with dual foot pockets, kind of wideness, so we're gonna just give her a try. Um, oh yeah, and also compare it to some other stuff. Ugh, okay, bye Ellie! Yeah, don't you have school today? <laughs> All right, that's my little sister, BT Dubs. Okay. All right, shove that in. Okay, it looks it looks a little silly. I think I like the other model fin better. I think it filled it out because it's meant for a wide fin, and this is like a pretty teensy weensy fin. It's just kind of short, is really what I'm coming across. Hey, accent. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I definitely like the other model fin in it better. I mean, this is what it's. Okay, maybe if I, like, stretch it out flat, but no, I think it'll definitely keep my, uh, my two tails model fin inside that one. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna buy a fin-filled fabric tail and never back in stock. What model fin do you recommend? The shooter! Alright, I'll compare it to a few of my other model fins, by the way. So, here, I'll start with this one. So this is my two tails model fin. It is probably one of the cheapest and safe model fins for beginners you can get on the market. Although this one only comes to $30, so that's pretty good. But... Yeah, it's a little bit wider. Oh, that's why it's kind of weird. Huh. Because it's got... I don't know if I'm a super big fan of this profile. Because it goes, like, out, and then it goes in, and then it goes out, and then it goes in. It's not, like, a super streamlined shape. Like, I'd kind of prefer it if they just kept it, like, what this line is. But, anyways. Because, yeah. I don't know. I prefer it when my model fins, like, go all the way out. And then back in, but this one goes out, and then in, and then out, and then in again. So, I don't know. Leaves a little bit interesting. It's an interesting design choice. Not sure why they did it, because it's just like, they've just got this random bump here. Anyways, um, so it's a little bit shorter than the Two Tails model fin, which is one of my shortest model fins. Um, but wider in the foot pocket region, as to be expected. Um, now, I'll show you guys my Linden model fin. Pretty similar. Ugh. So Linden also makes this model fin for kids, which is about maybe like, mm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say 50%, but a little bit smaller. 
I hear my foot buckets. They're collapsing. That's no good. All right. So pretty similar in design. A lot of things like the like the hook in the middle, which I took out for my furnace one. Um, length <laughs> is pretty different. Width is well, the the linden is definitely a lot wider, but foot pocket size is about the same proportionately. I mean, the linden's foot pockets are wider because it's made for an adult. This they have the same grippy things on the bottom. Um, converters to materials. The Finnis Green Fin is a lot clothier than the Linden. Do, 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 do. Mary Mary Crystal said, Tide said, I live in Texas and they are reopening of the community pool. All my mermaid friends will party. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do when our pools reopen. Um, there's also a comparison of an adult versus a kid's fin. <laughs> At two different worlds, yes, I know. But they're like sort of similar construction, so that's the other thing. I don't really have any other kids model things. I mean, I guess I do have... Oh, this bad boy, which is another kid's model thing, kind of. This one, the foot pockets are like about the same width. This is a Mirage, but it, it's, yeah, I don't use it a lot, but it is a kid's fin. Yeet! So, I mean, yeah, this is a very short fin. It is for kids, um, and I really, for kids, I think it's good that it's got these rubber tips because kids go whap. Whap, whap. Like, it's, it doesn't hurt at all. Because it bends, it just kind of bounces off. They do have a similar vibe. Honestly, it reminds me of the Rapid with the strap in the middle. I do not have the Rapid, but I do have the Tempo, which is what I was going to grab next. This is the most kiddish monofin you can get that's not a kid's fin from Finace. I don't know if they still sell this one anymore, but I love this one. This one was one of my favorites. And I love the purple. And yeah, I obviously love that this green fin is purple. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, a lot shorter. But the profile is very similar. Like, you can definitely tell it's the same company. Like, down to the angle of the foot pockets and stuff. Where they're, like, just slightly displaced. And yeah, this one has... Yeah, it's, like, the exact same hook. Pretty much. Neat. Um, yeah. I hope they make a bigger one for adults. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. I mean, it's always nice to have more model fins on the market, especially if you're making your own tails. But, uh, yeah, this one's pretty cute. I'm just going to wear it and kind of flap it around on my feet for the remainder of this and just kind of see if I get any cramps or stuff. Now, I may have an opportunity to test this out later. Uh, this week, the weather's kind of rough, and I'm stuck to sticking to outdoor swimming. But hopefully, after this weekend, the weather will clear up. Actually, let me check. And our, um, our, what are they called? Provincial parks are going to be reopening, so, which is great, because I love me the provincial parks. Let's see. Yeah. Great. Next week is more rain. 20. It's going to be 20 degrees on Friday, though. Oof. Dang it. If only I didn't have plans with my friend. Maybe I'll go swimming in the afternoon. That's what I'll do. I'll swim in the afternoon on Friday. <laughs> It looks like it gives good propulsion. Well, I'm not sure about that. It is pretty teensy and kind of floppy. And from my experience, floppy fins don't always give the best propulsion. But I'm excited to try it. I think it'll be probably similar to a fin fun model fin. That's kind of the thing. So, yeah. All right. I think that's enough talking about the mermaid dream fin. And I'm going to say goodbye to TikTok. But if you still want to hang out with me, I'm live on YouTube. My link to my YouTube channel to my profile. Okay, bye TikTok. <laughs> Form is what gives the best propulsion. No, oh, yes, that's true. That's true. That is true. But you know what's better? Just having a big giant model fin that just pushes you across the pool in one kick. Okay, so I am noticing like when I point my feet, it's sort of like the bottom of it digs into my heel, which I'm sort of like, eh. 20 degrees in May? I'm sorry for Canadians. No, 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 this is 20 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit, you foolish Americans. Celsius is the temperature that makes sense. Oh, oh, TikTok. Um, so excited for the parks to be open. Yeah! Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to go first. Maybe, well, Alouette Lake is a glacial lake, but Cultus Lake is not a glacial lake. What model fin is in your silicone? I mentioned it earlier in this stream, but the thinnest wave model fin. Because it is big. Well, not big, but it was one that would fit in the molds um, that 
Mermaid Amathea could do, and uh, I had it, so that's what I did. I'm talking about the blue one, but thank you, Mr. Uh, Guppy. Eh? <laughs> um, yes, that's what I put in it, because I already had it, but I kind of want to get the... They still sell the wave pin. Oh yeah, of course they do. I'm, I'm just... I don't know. I've heard different things about the tempo. Um, I wonder what Rivers of Chilliwack or where Cultist Lake is. Yeah, it's going to be rainy all this week. It's great. It's been like moderately rainy, but sort of cold this week. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know about next week. But I was like, next week it'll be better without having any facts to back that up. R.I.P. The tempo isn't around anymore, I think. Yeah, I'm really glad I got that one. Uh, Mermaid Moon Gazer was moving. She's like, here, hey, take it. And I'm like, okay. Another monofin. Always happy for that. Yeah, this one's really cute. I don't know what tail I'd wear it with. That's a thing. Maybe, ooh. Well, no. It wouldn't fit in that one. Maybe my two tails one. I don't know. Maybe this will just kind of be a fun one to splash around in. Lend out to people. But yeah, I'm happy I have this to add to my collection. Now let's play a fun game called Count How Many Monofins I Have. Okay, we've got one, two, three. Well, my bed, including the one. Uh, four. Is this one? And then she has five. Well, she's never seen this. Six. Seven. She goes eight. Wave of nine. Knock off. Wave of ten. Two sun suns is eleven. So another two sun. Oh, she's thirteen. A big mermaid is fourteen. Bad Nahina. Knockoff is 16, um, who else do I have? Oh, Suntail is 16, Suntail is 17, so I have two dogs, two tails, three, two, I have like umpteen monofins. <laughs> um, swimming in the rain's awesome though, I love it, it's one of my favorite. It is pretty fun, I was actually just thinking today, I'm like, oh, a rain swim would be fun, but it's, it's not that fun if like it's still chilly, like it's still chilly water, that's the thing. I love how you're chilling in your mermaid monofin like a true queen. Hey, I gotta, I gotta. That's how we cope these days with not being able to really swim. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is it me or is it hard to hear her? Oh, yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was facing the camera. All right. I'm gonna, I'll put on my headphones as well, sorry, because my computer is not being very nice to me, which is, um, I may be saying something very done, but you have the sun tail, wouldn't it fit? Um... So I tried it my fin fun, and my fin funs are like smaller than the sun tails, and it looks really weird in the fin fun, and the sun tails are bigger. But I do have, I have one, two, three sun tails, and two sun tail model fins. Um, it might fit in the sun tail kids ones though, that actually might be a good one, but I don't have any of those tails. That's a good question, Sarah. It's been super sunny over where I live, so I, I go to lake and swim. Yay, that's what I've been doing. I have a couple videos on my second channel of trying to swim in lakes. I have a wetsuit, which is good, but I don't know. I'm still kind of not super keen on, like, doing a lot of swimming just because I don't want to get hypothermia. You feel me? I'm noticing, okay, as I'm, like, sort of flexing my feet, I'm noticing that my pinky toe, my pinky toe is the main thing that gets foot cramps for me. Um... Because when it gets, because right now it's getting squished off to the side in this monofin. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. But again, this isn't a monofin for adults. This is a monofin for kids. But I like it. I like it. It's very well done. It's very nice construction. And yeah, just all the little details on it are super slick. It's sm too small for you too. I don't say it's, I wouldn't say it's too small. It's just... Not as big as monofins I'm used to. <laughs> I mean, it definitely fits. It definitely fits, but I don't know if it fits that comfortably. Yeah, for kids, it's going to be good. Oh, yeah. And I've got, I definitely have small feet. Like, I have, you know, feet. Like, my younger sister, who's almost 14, has feet larger than mine now. So, I am a small person. <laughs> hi. Hi, Angie Mermaid. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm going to flap around in this for a little bit <laughs> longer. What day is it today? It's Thursday. It's almost Friday. It's almost the weekend. Yee! But I'm glad you guys could join me for Tale Two Time. We got 26 of you, and that is wonderful. Also, I wrapped up two Etsy orders today, which is really exciting because I haven't had a lot of Etsy orders, um, like, much at all in the last couple months, so it was really nice for people who were like, sure, I'll buy from you. So I'm like, yay! So, I, uh, 
I still have, I think, two mugs left in my sticker store. I need to make a mug of Tail Tea Time. I have a mug that says Tail Tea Time. There's one left in the shop. There's one Coffee Powered Mermaid mug left and one Tail Tea Time mug left. So if you want to pick those up, it's in my Etsy shop. Etsy.com slash CA slash shop slash Nerd Man Faith. And yeah, my pinky is definitely hurting. Oh, that's interesting. There's like, there's no sense. There's like a little bit of purple plastic that shows through this part. Huh. Neat. Yas. Do you know where I'm speaking from? Not a clue. Uh, Texas. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm just looking in the sidebar. My last tail tea time has got like 600 views. That's really awesome. Also, Aqua Mermaid like 100% ripped off my video idea for my TLT time. She like just did this. She was like, "Oh, this? I'll talk about this in a YouTube video uploaded like six days after." And I'm like, "Thanks, Aqua Mermaid. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for stealing my YouTube ideas and formats. Real smart. Real great of you." <clears throat> Hi, Emmy. Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, I was going to show you guys the where to buy it. So Monofin is available here at Target. You guys can all see my face. There we go, here it is. Uh, Target the Finnest Mermaid Dream Fin. You could stay in Bellingham. No, I can't go to Bellingham. I can't go over the border. So that's what it looks like on the website. It looks like they only have this one color. Um, yeah, as far as I know. And... The thing is, I wonder if I can answer the questions. Can I answer them? Aw, that'd be sweet. Ew, it's giving me wish ads. I was actually researching some wish tales for a TikTok that I just posted, so that's why wish is giving me ads. I swear I'm not buying. <laughs> I swear I'm not buying tales from wish. Don't do that. That's a whole other bad thing. What's that new tale in the background? That is my Purple Mermaid Studios tale. Oh, sorry. There you go. Um, I've had it, uh, for a little while, um, I'll rush the video list since I was late, could, but you can you give me a short description of the mer what happened? I want a mermaid fin! Mermaid dream fin! It's a kid's fin, but it's really cute, and it fits. Wish tails. Oh gosh, that sounds horrible. Yes. Even Bryson knows that wish tails are terrible. Yeah, you're quite knowledgeable, but, you know, not, not as fully immersed in the mermaid community as some of these people that still buy tails from wish, but yes. <laughs> Aqua Mermaid bugs me because I keep hearing how she steals people's ideals. She literally steals people's ideas. Starts falling apart in the middle of the ocean. You're like, eh. well, if you're stupid enough to swim in a wish tail in the ocean, you deserve to die. Okay, that's a little harsh, but. Uh, wish tails and bleh. Ocean swimming when you're in bad quality products. The only model fins that I feel comfortable swimming in the ocean in are like actual free diving model fins, ones from Finis. Or my Mahina. I swam it in the ocean with my Mahina, but even then, it's like not super comfortable. What did I just walk into? Uh, spilling a little bit of tea, talking about a m new model fin I got. Mariel from Aqua Mermaid is pregnant. Yes, I saw her when I was at Mermagic Con. I saw her and she was pregnant, and I'm like, oh, hey, you're pregnant. Congratulations. She's like, thanks. I'm not that excited. <laughs> no, it wasn't really like that, but she was like, maybe I'll make some content on how mermaids make babies, and I'm like, Ha, 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 ha. Anyways, bye. <laughs> World's most awkward elevator ride. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'm getting until tomorrow. It's finally coming in tomorrow. It's all because of my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Glad you like it, Gabe. Is it ever hard to name your tales? I'm picking out tales that have fit either Steve Rogers or Tony Stark, and I'm having a hard time naming them. Um, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Do I have any tales that are unnamed right now? I don't think so. I think they all have names. I mean, I haven't named this model fin yet. Um, sometimes it takes a while. Like, it took me a long time to find a name for my um, Shop Vancouver Mermaid tail, the one that's kind of hanging down there with the dorsal fin. It took me a long time to figure out a na name for it, but then after some collaboration with the tail maker, Courtney Mermaid, we settled on a name, which is Sea Star, which is a really cute name, and I love it. Hello, Abby Goldberg. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't stream last week. I was hoping to have a video up this week, but my computer has been like, ha ha, no, we're just going to be really rude. And I'm like, thanks, guys. Thanks. Really nice of you. 
I got inspired to do this from you. I find it fun to do. It's so fun to do. Okay, who did I get it from? So I first started naming my things. I named my base uh, first. Um, so when I was like 14 or so, I got a new bass guitar, which I still have. And I was like, she should have a name. Because like people name their guitars. And I was like, I'm going to name it Perla. Because she is kind of a pearly white color. And so I named Perla. And that's also where the whole bass cliff came from. And then I named the basses at my uh, school. Like the big upright basses. <laughs> I miss playing those. And I named my cameras because the video production department in my school had names for the cameras. Maybe we can name it Milky Way. That's a cute name. I don't know if it suits it super well. It's not very milky. Um, ooh, I love the scallops. The scallops are fun. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I named my car, of course. You gotta name your cars. I've had, I've had three cars. I have... I had a Honda Civic, which was really cute. It was purple and really ugly, and I named it the Grape of Wrath, and then it died. <laughs> and then I was I drove my parents' minivan because uh, they got a new car, and I named the minivan Bessie. Well, my parents named the minivan because every time she'd go up a hill, she'd be like, so we're like, whoa, there, Bessie. Drove that in between going on tour and stuff. And then I got my silver Honda Fit, which I love so much, and her name is the Mermobile. Nori would be cool. Nori, Nori. I associate that more with the color blue, though. Um, but yeah, so naming my tails, I did name my first fin fun, and I didn't really name my second tail mag my magic tail. And then I finally got my sun tails, and oh, I forgot who I saw name their tails first. Maybe it was Courtney. Maybe it was Courtney that named her tails, or yeah, someone someone I saw was like, oh, I've had I have a name for my tail, and I'm like, that's brilliant. I should do that. And so I was like, ooh. Um, so I decided, to, yeah, I just decided to name my tail True Blue. And then I got my three ones from the two tails. And I was like, yeah, we're going to name them all. And then I sort of after the fact named, like, my fin fun is called Old Faithful. And my first fin fun and my first magic tail I called Nerd Maid because it's where I came up with my Nerd Maid persona wearing that tail. Uh, Siren said I named my oboe Eclair. <laughs> That's a cute name. My cousin plays the oboe. You should name it Lunar Eclipse. Ah, I don't think so. Cute name. I make movie pop up because I give them names other than the pre-existing ones. Like I made one from Jurassic Park for the Mosquito Amber and I called it the Dino Stick. Oh, cool. My tails from FinFun. It's the Merman Tales Limited Edition Orca Tail. Ooh, I like that tail. Relevant tip of the day. If you don't have a bag that fits your monofin, you can just put on your normal backpack and fit the monofin between the bag and your back. Yes. Oh, hey, Stephanie, I will illustrate that right now. Please hold. Oh, it's very important to us. Okay, here's my backpack. I really love this you know, backpack. It is from the Dan and Phil shop because I am certifiably trash. If you look further enough into my YouTube channel, you will know that I'm trash. This is actually a really good quality backpack. I don't use it for swimming, though, but I definitely have done this going to school and stuff. Okay, I should have done this before I put the backpack on. Uh, so you just kind of do the sailing. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. There we go. So you put the model pin in and kind of shove the other strap around it. You can do it the other way, too, where you have the model pin sticking out. And then you just put in your backpack as normal. And this is what it looks like. Pretty easy to do. You can do it the other way, too. I've done this a lot. Uh, going on trips and stuff. I guess it's a little more obnoxious this way. But yeah, I just do it like that. And it's a really easy way to take your monofin to and from the pool. Especially if you're like a swimmer with a swimming backpack. Uh, that's actually a really good tip. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to miss stuff that I'm bad at naming things. That's fair. I'm probably saving up money for a silicone mermaid tail. It's going to be black, orange, and yellow. Yeehaw! Where are you going to get it from? Okay, question. What do you do with the fins tails you don't use anymore? Is there a way to recycle them? Hey, I'm back. Hey, I was good. Um, well, yeah. So sometimes I'll donate them. Um, I've had a few tails that I haven't really used a lot that don't really work with me, so I've given on to new homes. I've given away, like, two. <laughs> don't. Don't get your hopes up, and they're always two local deserving pod members, except Leonard Bum wasn't deserving because she's very narcissistic and entitled, but that's a different story. Um, and then what I did with my old fin fun, which was damaged beyond repair, um, 
I put it in this picture thing to memorialize it. So very cute way of uh, kind of remembering your mermaid tales that have passed on. And uh, Merman DJ said, y'all see a fin float charging $300 for a tail bag. I think that's a fair price. I think you should stop complaining um, because they're based off of the House of Flynn bags, which you can't buy anymore, which is the best monofin bags uh, in quite a while that weren't, like, that were designed for mermaids. Um, so, I mean, if you think a good quality hiking backpack is $100, $200, if you can't afford it, you don't need to crap on it. <laughs> You know, I, you know, they have every right to charge what they're charging and they have so many more features than other tail bags. Like I have a custom tail bag. Well, it wasn't custom for me. It was customized for someone else that cost like well over $250, I think, to make it customized. And it has nowhere near as many like support features, extra pockets, like waterproofness of it. So that's not really that much tea. I mean, yes, it is definitely very expensive. I don't know if I could afford it at this point, and actually, someone right now is collaborating with me on a tail bag review, so stay tuned for that for an alternative, and, uh, I mean, have you seen Burr Taylor's <laughs> tail bags? Let's talk about expensive. <laughs> Those ones are pretty pricey, but they're designed for Burr Taylor t fins, too, but I, I'm like, ew, no, I'd rather buy a fin fun or a fin folk one than a Burr Taylor one. Where'd you get your cheapest silicone tail? I only have one silicone tail. It is from... Uh, Mermaid Amethea, and um, it cost $1,100 for me, but that's because she was just starting out. Now they cost about $3,200, but that is Canadian. I made my own mermaid top. Hooray! That's awesome. I'd be happy with a dry cleaning bag. Yeah, really anything that, like, you know, what works with you, what works within your knees, what works with your budget. Like, if you want all the bells and whistles and you're going to be hiking to waterfall locations, yeah, a Fin Fun one or a House of Flynn one would probably be good. If you're going to be going to and from the pool, just something to put it in. Like I have, I have one from Blue Water Freediving School, which is like it's it's essentially just like a triangle with a zipper and some backpack straps, and I love it. And it's perfect for my mahinas and my fin folks. I mean, it's not so great for my fin folks, but it works. So you you just you know you use what works for you. For like I made I made a mermaid tail bag out of a pillowcase for my fin fun. I don't really know where to get one, any good places I can get a silicone tail. Probably the best place within a quick Google search if you'll actually be able to understand is Mer Taylor. Um, which cries in Texas, what waterfalls? Ha 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 ha. Hi, hello Juniper. Have you ever tried an Atlanta skin from Fin Funds? I've been considering one. Um, I've seen them in person and they're pretty good. My pod mate, Stephanie, who is here right now, she has one. They're pretty good. I mean, I don't know if they're that much more worth it because a lot of them are basically the same tails that Fin Funds sells, but... You know, if you can afford the extra, what is it, like $30, $40 and you want one, I'd say they're good. But in regards to, like, spandex quality, they're not the same. But Fin Fun is supposedly coming out with a new tail line in this um, in this summer, so that'll be exciting. My say is going to decide if pools can open this summer, and I'm hoping to be able to swim my tail this summer. Yeah, I know, I feel that. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Silicone tails are so expensive, I don't understand why everyone wants one. Uh, it's because they want the realism. Like, that's the thing, is that you kind of go through this cycle where you're like, I want to look as realistic as possible, and then you're like, oh, wait a second, it doesn't really matter, and then you don't really care as much. And then you're like, okay, I can afford it, I want to be as realistic as possible. Like, really, the only thing I care about in regards to realism is, like, I don't even know. Like, as long as it fits and I can swim in it, I, I'm happy with it. Any advice for a new mermaid on budget? Don't go with Wish. Go with Fin Fun. Try looking secondhand. There's places called Buy and Sell Mermaid Tales on Facebook, which are buy and sell groups. I've seen people selling Fin Funs there for as low as $30. I can't believe it's already summer break. What? What time's your summer break? It's not even May long weekend. <laughs> I mean, I guess Corona time is summer break all the way. Would you ever try a Fin Fun? Do you have considering one? Actually, I have two of them. I, re I have a review of it on my YouTube channel. I reviewed them, Finfolk sent me a tale to review, and so I reviewed it, and I like it. I liked it more than I thought I would, which is great, and it's very pretty. So I have another month of school. Yep, that is, uh, that is how it works. It's okay, it's almost over. It is almost over, and then you will have a whole summer of not being able to do anything. Yay! <laughs> oh, man, my school's up for the summer. No more work for me. A whole summer of not being able to do anything! Yay! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that reminds me. I have a collab coming out with uh, the Mermaid Seamstress. Uh, just seen the Mermaid Seamstress. We just filmed it. Like, literally, as we're filming it, the FedEx guy came up and was like, here's your package. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So, also, just me, where are you? I thought you were going to be watching this. How dare. How dare. Okay. <laughs> um, which reminds me, I need to upload my footage from her. For her. From me. <laughs> just upload to my stream today. Yoink. There we go. Just gonna let that upload. You crash my computer. Tell about the pool, Faith. No, shh. It's still a secret. <laughs> With parks opening up, we need to find somewhere to swim. Absolutely. I'm thinking cultists. I'm thinking cultists. Um, I have an itchy trigger for figures about either two fin fun tails or two magic tail tails. Why not one of each? Are you a fin pulled pod squad member? Is it worth it? No, I'm not. I, I don't know if it's that worth it, but uh, I mean, if you're I think what it's worth it for is that if you, like, really want to get something from them and you want access to the early sales. My school is ending er early. My last day is tomorrow. Nice. If the only thing stopping you from being a mermaid is going to find places to swim. Haven't called anywhere yet, but I'm probably going to have to swim in lakes, and that's totally fine. Here in Portugal, the weather's not that good either. Well, it's almost summer. I have ten more days of school. Excellent. I get three four months of school. I get three months of school. Oh, okay. I have tons of projects planned for the summer. Excellent. I only have ten more days of school. Yay. Help me, Faith. I'm going insane here in quarantine. It's still happening. I have no idea what to do. Start puzzles. What would be the age requirement for a silicone tail? When you stop growing. I mean, our bodies are always changing, but I would say 18 at the earliest because it's not even just like a size thing. Like, you know, people are like, oh, you're gonna grow it. And then teenagers are like, no, I'm not. Like, I stopped growing at 15. I mean, I did, but it's not even that. It's, like, also responsibility. It's like getting a pet. You know, you need to clean it. You need to take care of it. You need to store it. You need to be able to afford repairs and all the extra things like silipoxy and drying rack things and a bag to store it and to carry it to and from and make sure you're, like, physically fit and able to do it. Uh, so there's a lot of other factors rather than just age. But I would say at least 18. And being able to financially afford it. Because even if you have the money in your bank account, that doesn't mean you should spend it. Like, I have the money in my bank account to buy another silicone tail. But am I going to do that? Absolutely not. Because then I would be completely broke. <laughs> uh, good times. No, Keltus is absolute garbage and polluted. Either Chilliwack Lake or Lake of the Woods out this way. I was thinking about Lake of the Woods. But it's chilly, Stephanie. Lake of the Woods is chilly. It's a glacial lake. Um, I have five days of school. Woohoo! I've been off school for two months now. Woohoo! Um, I want to buy one for my Steve Marsona, one for my Tony Marsona. Why not both? Or, my suggestion is get two custom tails from FinFun. I'm hoping to borrow my aunt's pool for mermaid purposes. Yes. One of my close friends has recently uh, met someone that has a pool, and I'm like, all right, how can you get me in there? <laughs> but also, Mermaid Zelda was like, if my parents are okay with it, you should come swim in my pool because I'm lonely. And I'm like, yay! Um, my la last day of school was yesterday. Hooray! Okay, quarantine got me bored, so I'm making more and more movie cosplays props, and I want to make you something, but I have no idea what to make. What makes a nerdy mermaid happy? Hmm. 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 So many things. Okay, I challenge you. I challenge you, Izzy D., to make something based on either H2O um, or the Barbie movie Mermaidia, which is my all-time favorite Barbie mermaid movie. And I kind of want to do a cosplay from it, but I have like absolutely none of like none of the pieces. So that's my challenge to you. <laughs> um, weather's great. My personal pool is almost clean. Yay! Congrats. Well, stop growing in seventh grade, but that's no common. Yeah, for girls. The pet analogy is great. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm just so used to quarantine, it feels like it's always been this way. Yeah, I know, I feel that. I'm sewing my first mermaid tail while watching the Strive livestream if I'm mermaid enough. Absolutely. Um, I don't have a soccer tail, but my other tail is not, or silicone tail, but my other tail is not silicone, it's ripped up, and I'm thinking of getting a silicone. Where should I get it? I mean, I am a Finfluencer for Mermaid Amathea. I think... And she is pretty good, and then there's also a new one called uh, Fairy Tales Bangkok, which I've heard is pretty decent. Also, Mishi Fins in Australia. Um, Mer Taylor's always a good bet. They're always like 
you've got you can get a you can get one for a pretty low price. As well as Haley Mermaid, she makes silicone tails for as low as six hundred dollars, which is pretty awesome. If you like to ride a horse, what type of horse would you like to ride? Uh, Maximus. <laughs> Finished my lady exam today. Whoop whoop. I'm thirteen. I don't need money <laughs> right now. So if I have money for a silicone tail, I'm getting one. Wait until you're not thirteen. <laughs> Have you watched Barbie and a Mermaid Tale? Yes, I have. Actually, my sisters and I did a low-key cosplay of that, um, and we did the dance that actually blew up on TikTok. Blew up, I mean, like 100,000 views. But still, I thought a really cool idea for a silicone tail would be Trash Mermaid. Ooh, neat. I do horseback riding. I ride a shitlins. Shitlins, they're so cute. I know the Mahina Fin is your fave. Have you made any videos about where to find skins for it? I wish there were more brands since it's such a popular fin now. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to make a video on that. Maybe I'll film that later. Um, heck yeah, best Mar Barbie movie. Be. Woohoo! Just to put the care of a silicone tail in perspective, my fantasy fin sat in my bathtub for three days ago. I mean, don't even get me started on taking care of the, sil of the tail skins. Yes. Have you ever played The Sims? The Mermaid's a pretty cool name. I have played The Sims a little bit in college because my friend have it, but I haven't played the Mermaid mod pack. Have I not seen that dance yet? I don't know. Follow me on TikTok for original and recycled content. I want to make a male tail at some point, but I suspect I'll get a Mertail or Guppy. The Linden Monofin should be fine for lakes. is isn't money. I'm not sure I want to put time into it yet. That is the right attitude to have, Vicky. That's the right attitude to have. Um, yeah, I would 100% recommend, uh, the Linden, and I think, I've heard the Guppies are pretty cool. I definitely want to get one someday. Your TikTok videos are hilarious and great ideas. Thank you. Um, yeah, and that's the thing, like, people are like, ah, because the thing about mermaiding, I've talked about this before, is that, um, it's, it's sometimes people's obsession and coping mechanisms, and sometimes they'll stay forever. Like, there's, there's lots of mermaids in my pod that come and go. They're like, oh, I'm interested in this, and then they try it out. They're like, ah, it's not that good. Or, you know, people who are like, oh, I'm interested in this. And then they're like, oh, you know what? I want to devote more of my time and resources to cosplay. It's totally fine. That's totally fine. But the thing is, is that sometimes people who may not be super neurotypical or not fully mentally developed or, you know, not, not trying to say things in an offensive way, but just stages of life and stages of where your brain is and where you are, <laughs> you might hyper fixate on a certain hobby or a certain thing and think that it's like gonna be what you're gonna do be all end all. Like I have friends like this where, you know, suddenly they'll pour everything into formating and then they'll pour everything into a, like a field of study or they'll pour everything into soap making and that's totally fine and I love them for it. Um, but so the thing about formating is that if you're all of a sudden in this mode where you're pouring everything into this hobby that you found, which is an escapism and uh, an exercise and a creative outlet, it might not be super viable for you to go with, like, the most expensive tail. It's going to take a year and a half to get to you. <laughs> you know? So, you know, if you're just starting out and you're like, oh my gosh, super passion, 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 which I get that way. I'll, like, have an idea for something and I'll be like, let's go! And then a week later I'm like, okay, I'm done going. So it's probably a better idea to get a cheaper tail, and it'll come faster because it's more mass-produced, and you're like, let's go, and then you get your tail, and you're like, let's go, and you swim in it for the summer, and you're like, okay, that wasn't really, you know, it's kind of babyish, or, ah, uh, not really into that, or, oh, it broke, or, ah, it's too expensive to replace. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. But if you're like, let's go, and you get, you find yourself in Mernation Genesis for, you know, the thousand dollars or so and you get it and it comes and you're so excited and then and then you end up like you know moving on get into a different stage of life you know you have kids or you get married or you know new career that takes up more of your time you move to a different place where things aren't as feasible to mermaid then i've seen so many things where people like get a get a big hunk in silicone tail and they're like yeah and then they just and then they have to sell it within a year or two and it's like mm. <laughs> Anyways, that's my little that's my little rant. I hope you guys learned something from that. Your TikTok videos are hilarious. Thank you. Oh, I googled Mermaidia Lucky Me. I love roses. Pink rose themed waterproof headband and matching butterfly necklace coming up. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite model fit other than the Mahina? Hmm. The shooter. I love the shooter. It's so new me. I follow you on TikTok. Definitely go check out that video. Thank you. OMG, I'm planning on getting a Linden in a magic tail skin. You mean a magic tail? Because those are good. Uh, it'll sort of fit the linden, but it might stretch out a little bit, just FYI, if you're getting the magic tail, kind of like just regular default thing. 
I already did the TikTok where you touch constellation the mirror you turn to mermaid. Awesome. Exactly. I don't want to drop huge dollars or time on something that won't stick. That's not to say that there's nothing wrong with faces. Embrace them. Just don't uh, lose your mind over it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, for a while, I went through, like, I mean, I've been through, like, five careers and I'm 22. Like, you know, <laughs> life changes. You're not going to be the same person you were five years ago. I, uh, I definitely took, like, when I was younger I was like oh my gosh being a bassist is like all I am and all I'm going to do and it's my unique thing about me and I, I was fairly good I wasn't amazing but I was fairly good at it and I was like yeah music and then I was like okay that's not really for me and I'm trying to think of like other hobbies and stuff I went through like mermaiding has kind of been my only hobby um besides from making YouTube videos but uh yeah I feel you but I think that mermaiding comes from within mm, that's true uh, I'm not really one of those people. There are definitely people that are like, I've always felt a connection to the ocean since I was a little girl. That's not me. I mean, I love dolphins. I love killer whales. And I'm, but I'm like, I don't really like swimming in the ocean. And I've never been like, no wanna see the line with the sky meets the sea. I'm not really like that. And I've never been like, I've always believed in mermaids. And I've always pretended and felt like I'm a mermaid. Heck no, that was my sister. And I was like, ew, Jared, no, mermaids aren't real. You're being dumb. <laughs> and she's like, ugh. And now she's kind of salty at me because I'm like, mermaids, I'm a mermaid. She's like, screw you. <laughs> if you got another silicone tail, what would it look like? I actually have a video, or I have a tail tea time about that, about a future silicone tail design that I really want. Shallo, shallo, Emily. We're actually coming on the last couple minutes of the stream. Um, have you seen H2O Mako Mermaid's Best Mermaid Show ever? Yes, I have seen both of them. I don't know if I would completely agree with that, but it is the only mermaid show I've watched from start to finish. <laughs> I've seen both of them. And I'm, I tried watching the cartoon and I suffered. <laughs> yeah, just as the monofin for the tail, so stretching shouldn't matter so much. Uh, wait, what? Are you gonna swim in your mermaid tail without a monofin? Clara, please clarify. <laughs> Can you do a mini review of your bracers? Ah, oh, yeah, I haven't really gotten a chance to swim in them yet. Um, I already did one for my mermaid, my first pair of mermaid Amethea bracers, but I'll consider. I'll consider. If anyone sees the channel, no copyright music comment on your pair of videos asking to be friends with Block Hill. Oh yeah, yeah. There's yeah, there's people that I don't know. I've noticed. Like I don't know if anyone else does YouTube. But, like, I've noticed that I've definitely gotten a lot more sort of spammy comments that are like, Great video! We should be YouTube friends! Or whatnot. Um, let's see. Let's check my likely spam. Oh, no, it's just someone that said, Oh, I'm starting a YouTube video channel. That one, that one's an actual person. But, yeah, there's a lot of spams that are like, Yeah, there's, there's, uh, I'm just trying to find them right here. Oh, uh, maybe they've all been blocked. But, yeah, someone's like, warranty like oh cool video check out my channel and I'm like go away <laughs> I keep getting that comment on all of mine and they have like two views yeah yeah it's just eh. <laughs> you just kind of ignore it you know but I think that like since this quarantine started I've definitely noticed an uptick in those type of comments and I'm like cool I hope I'll be able to go to Mermagicon next year I hope you do too that'd be so much fun my favorite mermaid show is Sirens with the light, fluffy H2O category. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Mako Mermaids or H2O just out of water? H2O is so much better than Mako Mermaids because they have a mostly consistent cast. Sometimes their storylines don't make sense. But the Mako Mermaid storyline is just like, were the writers on drugs? It's so terrible. <laughs> Not a big, huge fan of H2O either. I've suffered through the Legend of the Blue Sea and K-drama. Oh my goodness. Um... YouTube friends, do you even content? Yeah, literally. No, I won't I'll buy the Magic Tales monofin just the one. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think of her tailor mask? I got a lower light green one. I think they look cool. I'm not going to buy one, though, because shipping to Canada would be astronomical. Also, our exchange rate is so bad. It's 70 cents to the dollar, which means that if I wanted to buy something that is a hundred dollars us it cost me 130 like today someone shared on mermaid group they're like oh mermaid toms and i was like oh, that sounds fun and so i was just at work and i was like oh let's see what it is and i was like okay it's not a terrible price and i found a 25 percent off coupon and i was like okay 47 dollars you know plus shipping like that's i could spend that on shoes i need new shoes for the summer and then i was like oh no that's in us that's like almost 70 dollars canadian i'm like yeah, that's not worth it. 
Um, I have a different reason with it. Okay, good. Can't wait for the day I'll be able to show off my Marvel Mermaid persona. I'm super pumped. H2O all the way. Yes. H2O is fantastic. Mako was okay, but the cartoon made you just, oof. Oh man, you've gone through the cartoon. That's not good. Off to BP are pretty good. Oh, good, good. All right. So I think I am going to sign off for today. It is 4 o'clock. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm glad you all enjoyed the unboxing. If you're joining in late and you want to see the unboxing of the Mermaid Dream Fin from Finnis, just rewatch it as soon as I end this. And yeah, the first probably 15 minutes or so is me talking about this fin. Pretty cool. Love you guys so much. Uh, be sure to follow my TikTok because I make content there more regularly than I do on YouTube. And I will see you guys later.